Welcome back, guys. This is now the one month update to our 28 way glass ceramic coatings test. And this part covers primarily the hydrophobics of the products. The wiper test and other tests for these products will be coming later. These two windshields have taken an absolute beating with the wind in the recent storms we've had that have rolled through here, further damaging the glass. And since it doesn't have a frame, there's really nothing else I can do about it, but it appears that it hasn't affected anything in regards to the performance, although it doesn't look pretty. I would equate this test of the hydrophobics more to if you were applying them to the side or back glass as opposed to your windscreen, which again, we are in the process of testing for that and there will be a video eventually out on that. So with that out of the way, let's get to the wash. We'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash, and then of course rinse it before inspecting the hydrophobic properties of each of these products. If you would like to support the channel and if there's a product that you like, you're gonna purchase it anyway, please consider doing so through the links in the video description as again, it does help the channel out. And if you would otherwise like to support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. So looking at things here, Armor All seems like it's doing all right. Adam's Glass Boost, it had slowly weakened over the first couple weeks and it looks like it's continuing to do that. It is still repelling the water eventually, but remember glass reacts a little bit differently than paint does. So Adam's Glass Boost, I don't know if we want to call that weak yet, but it's well on its way. Everything else on this windshield looks like it is performing as advertised, as intended. Pearl Nano, Rain-X, Meguiar's, Gion, Neverwet, Griot's, all of them look exceptional, very hydrophobic. So for 30 days outside, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in the elements, looks like it's performing well. On the other one, IGL Window and DPC, both of those I believe, well, and Drexler a little bit too, IGL window, DPC, I think we're gonna call those failed, 30 days. And CarPro Flyby 30, I think we may actually call that one weak. Look at that. Did you call that weak? I'm gonna call that weak. IGL window, it sticks long enough to the point where I would call that failed. And DPC is even worse. So we already have some failures. CarPro, CarPro Flyby 30, we're gonna mark weak. G-Technic Nano Cotex, their two products looking all right. Glass Parency and oh, we got another one here. Ceramic Pro, it has failed 30 days. Yep. System X, Glosset and Shatter X. Shatter X is the one that says it's supposed to prevent actual glass shattering. Actually, it looks like it's, <laughs> it's holding up its end of the bargain on that. We may have to do some testing on that in regards to the shatter resistance. But yeah, you can see CarPro Flyby 30, weak, IGL window, DPC still sitting there. The water's still sticking to it. So yeah, those are definitely failed along with Ceramic Pro. So three failures and one new week. And Adams is pretty close to getting to that point, the glass boost. The glass sealant looks like it's doing okay. Aquapel, Rain-X, two that have been around a long time, both of those still performing as advertised. So any surprises? I'd say all three of those that have failed are pretty surprising to me. IGL, DPC, and Ceramic Pro. At least two of those are pretty big names. If you guys have used any of these products, please let me know in the comments about how long you guys have gotten out of them if they are performing similarly here for you. So looking really close, you can see Rain-X actually has a few water spots on the glass. And that's when I was looking at this in the sun, I just noticed that Rain-X had some water spots and the others not so much. It's really hard to see here. It looks like Adam's glass boost just slightly, but the, uh, the vinyl adhesive that you're seeing behind it, that's what the Kind of the un unevenness is it's it's there so you can see this on camera if you try to film through a clear piece of glass it's really hard to see on camera that's why we're doing it this way
Everything else looking all right for water spot resistance. Of course, we're gonna test that when we do the wiper test as well. Maybe use some mag chloride or something to create water spots on purpose, let them dry and see how easily they wipe off. Onto the other one, sun wasn't quite at the right angle for this or I didn't have it angled at the right angle. But again, I don't see any severe water spotting or anything like that from either the rain or from washing. Just lots of, lots of cracked glass. And a little bonus for you this month. So this is our tractor. It's a Mahindra 2638. I have Griot's glass sealant on this door. You can see it's doing pretty well. This is subjected, it's, it's parked under covered parking, but it is subjected to when it does rain and lots and lots of dust. Sometimes I get rained on when I'm out mowing my pasture, things like that. On the front, I have nothing. And you can see it, there is an, actually a little bit of repellent where the wiper is. Have a, have a, a ceramic coating, marine grade coating that I tried on the hood here. And that's from uh, Nano Kotex. And on this side is Armorol, the $3, $4 aerosol can from Walmart. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.